Hello there, I'm the Rampant Mystic and welcome back to No Man's Sky and as you can see we are on our fader and I have actually just put the uh, living slime in here and the runaway mold in here so it doesn't run away uh, and today first first of all we're gonna actually begin uh, by using the cargo bulkhead. I actually thought I sold it by accident, didn't, but I panicked there for like a good two minutes because I was clearing out inventory. So let's actually upgrade. Uh, let's see how it works. Uh, yeah, it, it just it just does. It just works this way. Okay. Wait, no, but I have one cargo bulkhead. What? How many bulkheads did I... What? Did I have some here or something? I am not entirely sure what happened there. Um, I, I'm really not. Is this a bug? What? I was supposed to do only one. I clicked it because, you know, why not? I wanted to see the error message a bit. Okay, so apparently these are the max slots, which... It's a freighter, it should have more slots, but whatever, you know, it's a problem for another time. Uh, okay, apparently I'm not gonna need those ever again. So anyway, today... Sorry, I'm just uh, slightly hiccuping, uh, trying to be as silent as possible when it comes to it. Today, there is one more new thing that we actually... Well, there's several new things that we haven't seen yet, but this is the one that we're gonna specifically go out hunting for. So there's something you can apparently get from mining the asteroids now. Uh, actually making... Potentially making asteroid mining valuable. Let's see, when am I gonna get it? Do I even have enough room? Yes, I do. So let's actually mine asteroids and see when we're gonna get this. Uh, not entirely sure when that's gonna happen. That could be rare. It was some sort of signal module. So as soon as it pops on screen, I'll know I have one. It's supposed to lead you to uh, uh, events in the system. So I suppose it can actually, it's a f potentially a free way to get into a freighter dungeon. Or... Tritium hyperclusters, okay, no. That's not what we want, okay. I still don't have one, surprisingly. I'm getting tritium out of this now, which I guess I don't really care about that much. I guess this thing has limited range, so... Not entirely sure which asteroids specifically you need to mine, so I'm just gonna do these for now. No, I'll just use the thingy. Well, no, I'm pretty sure these are not. These, I'm pretty sure they can't give up. Not based off of anything, I'm just... Just, I think so. I'm still gonna shoot him, though, just in case. Okay. No, nothing? Nothing? Just, just randomly moving and shooting asteroids and hoping for the best. I think it's these that can give it. I'm not entirely sure though. Uh, why? why? Why are you scanning me? What's the point? Just, just leave. Just leave. No. Did I get one? Please tell me I got one. I wasn't paying much attention. No, I did not get one. Well, I'm gonna quickly take care of the two. Uh, three. Okay. Hopefully they improve the combat. Okay, they are moving a lot slower. I have to admit, the pirates are moving a lot slower. Which is actually giving me time to shoot them before they, uh, before we have to do the crazy maneuvers of chasing each other around and hoping for... That one lived! Okay. Standing and greased with the Gek, sure. Uh, thank you for that. How long am I actually going to have to mine asteroids? I mean, to be honest, they could have made asteroid mining a little bit more interesting <laughs> if they really wanted us to mine asteroids. Oh, there it is! Anomalous Anomaly detector. A single-use geometric beacon that probes the surrounding area for near-space anomalies. Such objects are highly unpredictable. Select the detector and begin a scan. 
activate the pulse drive. So it, it it's basically gonna spawn something right in front of me. Probing wavelength, okay. It is it is interesting. Yeah, you know. Again, though, I was actually gonna say, okay, then. What do we got? Ooh, hyperspace navigation station. What? Incoming message. Uh, that's an error code. I've, I've seen that before. That's definitely an error code. Of some sorts. Not entirely sure. Of what sorts. Can I... Oh, wait. What if I just go there? Nope. Nope. I thought... Because it said that it's like a transportation teleportation thing. But it looks like a giant teleporter, so... Hyperspace Navigation Station. Okay, definitely can't do anything there. Oh my, we can actually see inside it. Let me try again. Yeah, look at that. Now what's the point of this? Oh, maybe there is an entrance here. No, that's an engine. And I, I definitely can't go through that. Maybe there's an entrance up top? It's probably still an engine, yeah. Gives off a weird noise. Can't be destroyed. What's the point of it, though? Uh, that's what I need to know. Like, uh, can I actually summon my freighter here? No, no, d go down. Oh my god, I'm sorry. It's just I've been playing Imperium, and Imperium I uh, can't reverse my flight controls, and it's uh, kind of annoying me. And I've been learning to fly that way, so. Yeah, it's we're very close to the anomalous object. So, uh, it does look decent, though. Look at that. I have to admit. Actually, let me. What was that? That's not what I wanted to do, but whatever. This does not look that good for some reason. What's my settings at? Feel the view. Yes, yes. Ah, whatever. Just take the picture. I didn't even take the picture. That's how smart I am. No, I want the, the gold to be there. There it is. The golden light. Ah, yes. I don't get it, though. Oh, I'm getting... No, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's from destroying an asteroid by accident. Like, this is obviously open. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Of course I can go in it. Uh, oh, no, that's just light, isn't it? No, it's, what? Can I... Should I shoot it inside? I'm shooting it. Nothing's happening. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Let's actually check on the Nexus. The reason for that is the with the new update, the Quicksilver missions are... are There are different missions apparently now, so I do want to see one of those. And uh, tomorrow, I do I did buy one of these by accident last time. Where, where, is where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, that's, that's the ship. Oops. Uh, one of these, emergency broadcast receivers by accident. I wasn't supposed to buy it. I mean, I'm going to go to a dun I'm going to go to more dungeons. That is entirely true. Uh, but I wasn't supposed to. I, I didn't mean to buy it. I bought it by accident. I uh, know oh, somebody has like our ship. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. That's a beautiful ship. So is that one over there, though. Hey, people aren't T-posing anymore, I think. I don't see anybody. Like, I saw one person. He was sitting down, so... Uh, construct an outpost, 30 monstrosity, rescue a stranded life form, an old distress. I actually want to check this one out specifically. I don't care that it doesn't give Quicksilver again. I'm pretty sure we're gonna, yeah, there's one person here and he's just sitting. Um, I want to see what the new missions are all about. Today's episode might be a little bit shorter, I am going to say that. Uh, but tomorrow's uh, is unknown how long it'll be if I'm if I'm actually going to do the freighter uh, another freighter another freighter dungeon I'm sorry uh, if I if I do another freighter dungeon I'm not entirely sure how long it's going to be I am oh what uh what 
So what's that all about? That was weird. I am going to definitely jump after this. Okay, where are the last known coordinates? There they are. Of course, it's going to be on planet. Uh, it would be kind of nice if they had extra missions which are specifically in space, not not the fighting kind, but are in space. Like, uh, you know, he's stranded, but he's, uh, you know, his engines are damaged in space somewhere on a freighter or whatever, and you need to help him repair it. Something like that, you yeah. know. It's just for variety. It really won't uh, add anything new except, you know, variety of missions. Now, I'm pretty sure I know what this mission is going to entail. It's going to be one of those stranded... Uh, Whatever, Gek Viking Corvax next to a ship, which I'm and I'm gonna have to help him out. Yeah, there it is. That's actually a good looking ship. It's actually a good looking hauler. I am looking for a really no. It is the wings are really good looking. The color is amazing. Uh, it's this turret or whatever it is over here that I really don't like. It's just because of the fact that it's a little bit off off center. It's. Uh, Anyway, here's the stranded, I guess, traveler. Yola! The traveler seems surprised to see me. Their eyes search mine, wondering why I'm here and how I have found them. He's holding a multi-tool. Uh, in despair, travel traveler Yola shows me their ship's shattered communicator control unit. This part is far beyond repair, but it could potentially be replaced. So, uh, salvage a working component. Okay, I have to admit, the lighting is a lot better. Alright, let's see, uh, sal search salvage containers for a working- Okay, there was one nearby that I saw, there it is. Actually, we don't need the biggest hole. Salvage containers, those are- That's a salvage can. What was that? No, that was a technology module, wasn't it? Did I make a huge mistake here? Yeah, buried technology module. Specifically, I have to go for those. Okay. I'm going to run there and experience the new... Uh, well, everything. Apparently, we got uh, new lens flares, new uh, lighting effects, new... Was it motion blur or something? I don't know. There's a lot of stuff that they've added, uh, you know, behind the scenes that... Uh, they didn't really mention, like, they didn't mention the, uh, motion blur, not the motion blur, sorry, the lens flare, the lighting, and, uh, whatnot. If you actually read the full patch, you know, that there's a lot more stuff added that's, uh, I guess not as prominent, I guess that's why they don't really mention it. But there's a lot of stuff that they've done. Which, uh, you know, I'm happy, I'm really, I really am. Oh, it's one of these that I haven't seen in, uh, forever. Okay. I'm glad they're using them for something besides them just being there and not used at all. Yeah, at least it gives them a purpose. Last time I actually went to one of these, it was so long ago. Alright, mining beam. Yeah, whatever. You know, you, as many of you can spawn as they want. These are corrupted sentinels. There is the encrypted communication control unit. We're gonna read it in a second. Let me actually take care of these. Now these, for those that don't know, these are not the same as sentinels. These are corrupted. Uh, thus meaning you can freely shoot them. Uh, they will not call in backup because they're coming from, again, from this thing. You're not predators, right? I just want to read some stuff in peace here. Enzyme fluids, you're not. Alright, an advanced nanocomputer that actually doesn't cost much, so you don't really have an incentive to sell it. Performing processing tasks related to ship-to-ship -ship communications, quantum transportation, cording tracing? Coordinate tracing, oh my god, I can't read. Uh, the part could be in working order, but will require decryption before it can be installed on a new ship. A paired decryption terminal can be located via exosuit analysis. Ooh. Oh, I actually need to press E on this thing. Oh no, please no. This is the one animation that I really hated. I guess if it's like once in a blue moon, sure. But honestly, because of all of the, uh, <laughs> because of this animation that the amount of time I've seen it, I, I've... Well, I hate it nowadays, okay? Salvage container. Do I need a salvage container or something else? That one's further away. I think it wants me to go to it. 
Yeah, it is. The, it does want me to go to a salvage container, so it's basically gonna be more of the same. Still gonna walk. Okay, sunrise. Where's the sunrise? Oh, it's over there, isn't it? No, it has to be over there. It's darker there, so I'll actually turn on the turn off the torch. <laughs> uh, nope. 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 Oh no, boy. Um, I might, might need the quick, uh, I don't want to be here. Uh, I got, I got shivers down my spine. Uh, I don't want to be here. Let's just quickly dig a hole and, uh, uh look around slowly. There's none of them nearby. Okay. Oh no, I'm gonna have to dig a bigger hole. Actually, let me actually do the bigger hole digger. The bigger uh, setting on the terrain manipulator. I'm sorry, I can't think anymore because uh, that thing is a thing. Now, Sentinel is not going to aggro the one that's nearby yet. Uh, encrypted communication control unit. An advanced nanocomputer, yeah, yada yada yada, we read that. The part could be in working order, but it will require decryption before it can be- oh, what? A paired decryption terminal can be located via exosuit analysis. What? But I- <gasps> Uh, no, I'm, I'm just gonna leave this, uh, planet. I'm telling you, those things are teleporting around the place. Nobody believes me. Okay, I think we're safe here, for now. How am I supposed to- I'm gonna do this once more and hopefully it works this time around. Ah, uh, now, oh, there it is, it's located. Uh, keep in mind, I'm gonna say this uh, once, I suppose. Uh, the mod is still being worked on. There are, oh, there it is, we found it, okay. Uh, there are updates. They haven't been, I believe, today, but by the time this episode's out, they probably will be. Uh, do keep checking. Um, so there will be bugs currently, because again, the, oh, wow, that's interesting. There will be bugs currently, uh, both in the game and in the mods, so uh, keep that in mind until the full version of the mod comes out. Uh, expect bugs, and even when the full version of the mod comes out, expect a couple of bugs here and there. It's, I mean, in general, expect bugs everywhere in your house as well. Ex just expect bugs. Don't... Oh, hello! Please tell me there's no stones here, please. That, that's all. That's the only thing I ask. These are easy. Oh, hello. Oh, look at how nice that looks now with all the new lighting effects. Yeah, whatever. I can spam this. This is like a full auto shotgun, or semi-auto shotgun. Are these leaking fluids? And... yeah, they just... How many of you are there? How many? There it is. Okay, terminal status active. Please present compatible device. There it is. Communication control unit detected. Pairing. Key download syncing. Why is this thing all the way over here, though? Uh, device decrypted. And that was it. Uh, I don't care about the Sentinel drones, uh, but at the same time, I don't want to be scanned. No, go away. What? It just gave up? That's nice. No rocks, no rocks, no rocks. Please, no rocks. I don't want to see any more rocks. I don't want to be on this planet any longer than I have to. Like, not a moment longer than I have to, so we're just gonna talk to this individual and leave. ASAP. 
Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay, you know what? I kind of like that. That never used to happen before. That was a high-speed uh, landing. Before, you had have to slow down so that you can land because it will say you're going too fast. The travelers seem surprised to see me. Their eyes search mine, wondering why I'm here and how I have found them. Um, divination stones. There, there's the... <laughs> and goodbye. And he leaves. Of course he does. Okay, let's, let's leave. Come on. No, no, no. Skip this. I just want to leave now. I don't care about the reward anyway. I, I didn't do it for the reward anyway. Uh, when's the last time I had to refuel the launch thrusters? I've forgotten what key I bound that to. It's been kind of a while. Okay, I'm out of that planet. I feel a lot safer now. That's all I'm gonna say. I feel a lot safer now. Right. Stones appearing out of thin air. I hate them. I really do. I don't even know why I'm doing this to the gold nuggets. I have so much gold. I have a gold farm. Uh, there's rust and metal for no good reason. I guess I'm... I'm gonna deal with those one day. Hey, the person's still there. No, uh, with that ship, sorry. Now that's a good looking freighter, look at that. The back end is kind of nice. I have one of those, so I'm fine. Why is everything so white? I just realized, oh, my ship is like slightly darker, that one's a little bit green, but every other ship is like white. Don't get me wrong, I love white, it's my favorite color, but uh, in terms of, you know, paint jobs. But please tell me, yeah, this one is not off-center, this one looks beautiful, this is the type I want. Too bad you can't buy ships that are here, oh well. Hello. Glitching out. Yeah, another one of those. They seem to be kind of common. Right? And I suppose that was it. Let's actually see if there's any different ones. Raid a planetary depot, we've seen that. Collect 702 Fesium, that is a lot of Fesium. Kill 33 monstrosities, eliminate hazardous flora, so no. Nothing new. Let's see if we've gotten to the tier 2 community research. Uh, I got of the collective title, apparently. Uh, and before we end anything, okay, no, still no. Actually, you know what? We're gonna do a jump next time. We're not gonna do it today. I wanted to see if we're gonna still have that uh, weird animation that we had where the ship was like basically just uh, spinning out of control, but oh well. For now, though, I've been the Rampant Mystic. I do hope you enjoyed this episode of No Man's Sky, and I do hope to see y'all in the next one.